Hey everyone, so now I'm going to be telling you about another wave properties, which is refraction. So all waves refract as well. And the pictures that you see in here, they actually happen. So this is actually reflect refraction happening in real life, okay? And I'll have a video that explains this one, and now you're going to understand this one, okay? So refraction. So when light or any wave for that matter enters a denser transparent substance it slows down and changes direction the change in direction this change in direction is known as refraction i now just realized that i made a powerpoint showing reflection of my explanation of refraction there we go anyway so this is what happens okay so I have here waves and this is a certain medium. So I'm going to call it medium one. This is medium two. The wave is getting into a, a denser medium. So it's going to change direction and this change direction and in speed as well is known as refraction. Okay. I will explain this picture in more detail and the same in, uh, in here. So I have two medium medii with different indexes of refraction my end of angle of incidence in um, the first medium is higher than the angle of uh, refraction on the second medium so that means that the second medii is actually denser than the first one and this is actually a, the rule if you want to know the index of refraction of medium one times the sine of the angle of incidence of medium one equals the index of refraction of medium 2, medii 2, times the sine of the angle of refraction in 2. You in GCSE you don't need to know in this much detail unless you're doing separate sciences, but this is what happens. Anyway, let's see this refraction in more detail. So I say that uh, my wave is not bouncing back like reflection, uh, is actually being transmitted. So it's passing through the substance, but it changes direction because the substance has a different density. So let's see this example. And this um, animation is from Footprints. I have air, glass, and air again. Look that what is happening in here is the light or any wave is going to refract at the boundaries, first boundary, do the same on the second boundary, and carry on okay and look how the first line the angle of incidence and the angle that comes out once you pass through the substance uh, they are the same so this means that the first and the last line are parallel and this counts as a mark in the exams the first and the last line are to be parallel if they are in the same medium okay in between in this case i have glass which is denser than water uh, that air so you can see that the wave slows down while inside the glass and you can see that it changes direction as well the angle of refraction is going to be smaller than the angle of incidence because the media where it is now which is the glass is denser the way that i explain is as if you guys are in a corridor and imagine a corridor with only four people. Imagine a corridor with one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, so 18 people. So you obviously cannot go as fast in the corridor with 18 people because you kind of need to squeeze by to pass through, right? While with four people, you can just go fast. So if the density is low, you can go fast. Okay, so you don't have to slow down. If density is high, you slow down. If density is low, you don't have to squeeze through. So I say that the angle is, is big. If the density is high, like glass, many people in a corridor, you need to squeeze through. So that's why I say that the angle inside of the denser substance is smaller, okay? It works for me, for you it may work something else. Here's another example for you to try to see refraction happening. Imagine a car on the road and passing through the mud and then going on the road again. What is going to happen is, as the car is getting into the boundaries between road and mud, one of the tires is going to touch the mud before the other. So the tire that touches the mud is going to slow down while the tire on the road is going to continue carrying on with the same speed. So one tire slowing down and the other carrying on with the same speed is going to make the car change in direction into a smaller angle, okay? So it's going to change towards the right. It, when it's leaving the mud, the first, so the left right tire is going to get into the, the, ro the road before the left tire. So what is going to happen is the l right tire is going to move faster than the left one. 
So again, he's going to change the direction. So here we go. That's an application or an example of what exactly happens to every wave as they refract. So if the density is lower, um, they can move faster and with a bigger angle. If the density is higher, then the angle of refraction is going to be smaller and they cannot move as fast, okay? Now, another one. Imagine now this example. So actually, let me start with this one. So this goes either if you are first in air and then in water or first in water and then in air. Air is less dense than water. So the angles of refraction, if you go from air to water, the angle de uh, decreases because you need to squeeze by. If you go from water to air, the angle is going to increase because you have more freedom to move in the air, okay? And the same if you do the example in the ripple tank. So you have deep water and shallow water. Where is harder to move? Well, it's going to be in the shallow water. The waves don't have as much space. So the waves are going to slow down. And because they slow down, remember that wave speed equals the um, wavelength times the frequency. The frequency is the same. So the wavelength decreases because the wave speed decreases. So the waves get closer together and they change direction as the normal would show here. So the angle decreases, okay? So this is all the type that you had to know about refraction. Now just a couple of exercises. So this one is a refraction from footprints. Oops, so from footprints. Oh, I just clicked, okay, here we go. I clicked somewhere. I think I opened some footprints probably. So freeze the, the, um, the board if you want to try your exercise yourself, figure out which words could be in here. Otherwise, let's do it now. So refraction, um, this change is known as refraction. Uh, denser, when something enters a denser transparent substance, it's, yeah, denser, right, number two. Direction, so when something enters a denser transparent substance, it's something and changes, changes direction. Away from, so when away from cannot be, substance it away from cannot be, so when light enters the glass, it bends away from the normal. Uh, no, it bends towards, so is when light leaves the glass, it bends away from the normal. Slows down, it's going to be this one then. Light is going to be the first one, and towards is going to be this one. So, when light enters a denser, transparent substance, it slows down and changes direction. This di changing direction is known as refraction. When light enters the glass, it bends towards the normal. This is because glass is denser than the air. And when light leaves the glass, it bends away from the normal. And this is because the glass is denser than air. So that's the exercise done and let's do this one to make sure that we do not confuse reflection with refraction, okay? Bending of light, so that's going to be refraction because in reflection they bounce back. Rays of light slow down or speed up, that's refraction as well. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle that comes back, so that's going to be the angle of reflection, so that's reflection. Wave passes through two media, two media, it shouldn't be mediums, with different densities. That's going to be refraction because the waves are transmitted, so they pass through and not bouncing back, so not reflecting. Light does not pass through a surface, instead it bounces back, so that's going to be reflection. Accelerates in less dense media, media. So it's going to be refraction. Happens better in smooth and shiny surfaces. That's going to be reflection. And it is related with lateral inversion. So what is left becomes right. That's reflection as well, okay? So to finalize, that's the trick that I told you that I was going to tell you how you do it. So look at this video, how you get invisible glass, okay? So you, how you make an object vanish and make, make sh uh, sure that you pay attention of what the glass is contained inside, what happens to the material that is put inside the glass, what is the material, uh, the oil and the glass, the pyrex and the western oil, and then why do we see different things happening according to the substance that is inside the glass. Try to answer those questions as you see the video. So that is it for today in terms of refraction. Up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye.